Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. We have our Moon Lander Assist mission complete and we are going to roll it out in the hope that we can save the Moon Lander currently stranded in low Earth orbit. And once we get to the Moon, we can launch the crewed mission over to it and then proceed with our crewed Moon Landing mission. And we have a time limit on that. We need to do that within 620 days. So if this doesn't work, we're going to really need to rush things. We do have some cash available for that. But we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, we've got some wiggliness on the pad, but it seems to be straightening itself out. And let's line up with our target. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. We have six engines. And launch. And off we go. Uh, we have got a transient shutdown of one engine. And that was one of the core engines. That should be okay. That shouldn't kill us. I don't know what transient shutdown means. Uh, can we activate it again? We've got four more ignitions. But it shouldn't be a big deal. We'll see once the boosters go. Okay, booster set. Yeah, I can hold on. Um, we've got more than a thrust weight ratio of one. I... I mean, we can try restarting it, I suppose. Well, it seems like that works. And it has the correct stats, so... Alright, just a little hiccup. Okay, separation. Ooh, a knock, and we've got... So, we still have a little bit of a problem there. Fairings off. Okay, RCS. Uh, I guess we don't have those blocks active. Oh, let me shut that down for a sec. Okay. I left some extra time to wap waps this, so I'm not worried too much. And let's not hit that fairing, though. Okay, we can continue. Let's get some antennae out. Okay, making orbit here. And we'll shut down there. Okay, whereabouts is it? We are here. And it... Uh, it's in front of us, so we do need to catch up. And it's probably in a fairly low orbit. So that's annoying. Well, that doesn't seem like we'll be closing very quickly still, does it? But as long as we're not losing any Delta V in the meantime, or not much Delta V, I guess we can wait. Well, it's a little bit distasteful, but I think I'll try and use the main engines here for this. 29 meters per second is sort of borderline with the RCS. Okay, we've got a rendezvous at, it says 2.9 kilometers now. And a mere 8.8 .8 meters per second. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I decided to deviate. Okay, and over here, very different view. Let's just point at the target. Okay. Last little bit before docking. Good thing the lander is tiny. And we've docked. Okay. So, let's transfer the fuel over before I forget. And in the cabin, there wasn't any extra fuel, so that's fine. We're going to lock the fuel over here. 
Okay, well, now let's plot for the moon, finally. Where this was supposed to be going. Well, we don't need any free return trajectory or anything like that. Uh, we would probably like it not at this inclination, but we'll just do a mid-course adjustment for that. Okay, so let's proceed. Oh, let's make sure we're controlling from the right place. From here, there we go. Okay, ignition. Alright, we are on our way. A little bit too far there. But we'll just do a mid-course adjustment to fix everything. Uh, it seems alright, the ish anyway. Yeah, we could get closer, but let's just see what the mid-course adjustment needs. We're gonna keep everything equatorial. For the sake of the rendezvous. Or at least in line with the moon's orbit. Okay, that looks like the correction we'll do. We still have six ignitions on these. Okay, we're just doing this correction with the RCS. Well, reorienting to the sun. We've got this part done. It's not in line with the equatorial equatorial thing, so it's not really equatorial. It's in line with the moon's orbit. Okay, we are approaching the moon, and as usual, concerned about communications, but we do have a few satellites around here. We'll just see how it is at periapsis, but we've got triple cube launch probe over there. That seems to be helping out. Let's see. Alright, we've lost direct communication. Right, okay, I think we should orient. And we will assume that this is a go. Selling fuel down. We're already past periapsis, but ignition. It's only a 26 second burn. We'll just finish this off. We will have to leave this stage in orbit, unfortunately. Okay, we don't want to waste the fuel. All right, uh, just gonna decouple that. Oh, I guess we don't need to decouple that, but I mean, we could use this fuel still. I don't know if I meant to decouple it, but uh, I mean, that's just an extra thing that we gotta leave in orbit then. You know what, maybe we'll use this fuel to deorbit the tank. Well, we're not going to be able to bring the lander to uh, low, low orbit, but it'll be in a good enough orbit to deal with it. Okay, okay, that's all we'll use of that. And let us here undock. And I'm going to unlock the fuels over here because I I'm have been recently in the habit of forgetting to do that. But uh, I think... I don't know, is it going to recharge during... Well, it's a little bit tight on the power, it looks like. Let's see, maybe if we... Here, and point at the sun. Okay, there we go. It is... it is okay. No SAS module, though. <laughs> but, alright, it is okay. Now, this we will try to deorbit. As good citizens of space or whatever. Okay, it will crash into the lunar surface, quite definitely. Alright, let's launch crew and see if we can get them to the lander. Okay, I have selected Analyst Kerman and Milden Kerman as our crew and we are gonna see how it goes. We've lined up with the moon and SAS is on, throttle is up, ignition. Okay, six engines and go. That is not the right heading. That's probably saved from the last time we launched a capsule. Apparently it just stores the smart ASS settings per craft. And since we recovered the capsules, 
it sort of saves them like that. Gotten caught out by that before, but not this time. We will only be landing one of these two on the surface of the moon. I haven't decided which one yet. We'll have to see about that. Alright, and booster separation. That's all good. I think I'll jettison the launch escape system now rather than later. Off that goes. Okay, separation and ignition. All right. And that's orbit. 244 by 202 will serve us fine. And let's plot for the moon. We had the other mission going around retrograde. And we'll probably need to do a mid-course adjustment. Okay, well, that's a plot. First thing is double check that we have life support. Yes, we do. Okay, well, let us proceed in that case. Don't really want the pods RCS active. But I took too long to turn. All right, ignition. A little bit rough there, but we are on our way. All right, let's see where it comes in. Oop, okay, well. Sort of cut it a little bit too early, but it was so quick. Gotta get it at some point. Uh, we'll just get this at the mid-course adjustment, I think. Well, we've sort of got a start of a close approach there, but it's still 171 kilometers, so not really that close. Um, 2.5 degrees. Uh, possibly once we get into the SOI, we can correct that further, it looks like. I think I'll accept this correction for now, and then we'll proceed. Got 515 meters per second in here, and it does have the MLI layers, but we do need to free up some solar panels, otherwise we will lose power. Alright, well, let's see what the power situation will be with just those two. I doubt it's going to be good enough. Plus the body's sort of in the way of them. These don't rotate. I don't know why they don't rotate, but... Well, I think we're charging enough to get to the mid-course adjustment. But... Uh, maybe we'll be better off if we can surreptitiously separate a third one and extend a third panel. Let's just pretend that this supports the whole thing and uh, extend that panel right there. And I think that'll get us fully recharging so that we can keep this stage. The goal is just to keep this stage with us so that we can use its Delta V. So, yeah. Trying to take advantage of everything we can here. So, okay, on to the mid-course adjustment. Well... I am, in fact, doing the mid-course adjustment with RCS, as painful and tedious as that is, because, well, the engines only have 20 seconds of stage time left, and so, since they don't throttle, I don't think, uh, we would be talking about a fraction of a second for this particular node. And I didn't think that was a good idea, so here we are. Okay, coming close to the end of this RCS burn. Every so often it makes the intersect point there disappear. And I think that's pretty good right there anyway. Our periapsis is fine and the separation there we'll fix on the adjustment as we get into the SOI. Let's take a look at that. And 
because right now the critical thing is the meetup and it made that thing disappear again uh i mean it's not a really optimal place for us to meet maybe we should wait on it and that's because it's in this high orbit though maybe there's just not gonna be an optimal the game seems to want to make it hard on me um it's yeah it's not being very decisive i think i'll leave it like this and then capture first we do have this stage with us so we have more delta v than i strictly was expecting okay it's looking like we can get the rendezvous done for maybe a thousand one hundred and i'm willing to spend that i think so all right on we go let's make sure that we are getting power again okay analysts and milden are approaching the moon and get her getting ready for the first burn okay let's be careful here we will need some time to turn in everything we'll discard this stage after this burn unfortunately i don't think there will be a way to dispose of it fully since it doesn't have an independent control core okay settling fuel down Okay, a lot late on the selling the fuel down, apparently. Nah, it's taken more than 30 seconds, jeez. Let's swift the situation. Okay, now it's stable. Ignition. We have captured. We have a uh, close approach distance there that's decent. I think we will accept that. So, orbit normal. got seven minutes until we meet up with it and at that point we have to do 600 meters per second okay that's good enough for me stage set off it goes and we can get the other solar panel out now we, re we did have enough delta v on here to do everything we didn't really need that other stage but it's better to have as much as we can keep just in case something goes wrong five more minutes we could probably get the 600 meters per second or so done in maybe three minutes the extra fuel will certainly make it possible for this to push the lander into a lower orbit okay there is our target and wow we're getting close right there Okay, okay. It appears to be tumbling. Or maybe just reorienting, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was just reorienting. Figured out it had some sort of job to do. But we'll want it to point at us, of course. Okay, let's turn to this. And where are we? See Earth, there we are. Overall, I think the RCS on this is a bit underpowered, but I think we can manage. Mainly because all of it's on the little trunk there. Okay, just sort of slowly, slowly approaching. All right, we are joined up. Let us make sure that that's the only engine on and we're controlling from here. All right, well, let's uh, push it down a little bit. Okay, ignition. Okay, that's a nice tidy starting orbit as far as I'm concerned. And this should still have enough fuel to get back. It needs about a third of the tank, so we are okay, and we will try to land in the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.